Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Wilhelm Scream and welcome back to another day in Destiny 2 Shadowkeep for some more Destiny 2 news and still not retired, hanging on by a thread season of the worthy intel. But we only have about nine days left, everybody. So let's just hang in there. We're on to brighter seas, less choppy waters in the near future, we can hope. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about some new leaks in the Destiny 2 community or hints or Easter eggs, whatever you'd wanna maybe call that. Little bit of tinfoil hat, shout out to CB Gray, uh, Intel in that regard. And we're gonna be talking about a very easy and fun, flawless glitch that you can still do in Trials. I don't know, maybe this will be patched by the end of the season, so you might wanna give it a shot now as with, we only have about, I think, two more trials before the end of the season so we'll see how that all plays out lots of new things obviously coming on the horizon very shortly and i'm going to be talking about all those things in just one second but first i just want to remind everybody i'm still doing the giveaways on my youtube channel the next one will be at 25,000 subscribers which we're already halfway there i can't believe that all you have to do to be entered into that giveaway is like the video subscribe to the youtube channel turn on the notifications the bell right next to the big red subscribe button and follow me on Instagram or Twitter. They'll be linked in the description box down below. And as always guys, if you stick around till the end of the video, I'll have a secret hashtag you can leave in the comments section to be entered into that giveaway a second time for this video. And remember guys, those stack between all videos. So if you haven't done this on a previous piece of content on this channel, go back, check out another video and of course do it again. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about new leaks or Easter eggs, whatever you'd want to call it in the Destiny community as it stands right now. So we don't really know the name of the next season. Not anything other than the fact that we'll have this new enemy, the Widower, um, but I don't think it's going to be the season of the Widower or season of the Triangle Ships or season of the flying doritos it's not going to be any of those things so as far as that goes we don't know anything however as i talked about in a previous video there was some audio that bungie tweeted uh, that was ominous and a lot of people thought maybe this was the actual sound of the pyramid ships as the audio file the actual look of the audio file and i'll link it down below again even though i did link it on the last video but i'll link it down below in this one again the audio file actually looked like pyramids so i actually thought it was kind of a reach as far as a hint but there was something apparently a little bit more interesting hidden down beneath uh the obvious things of just it looking like pyramid ships and having sort of this weird ominous tone to it and that was the time the actual time of the recording was a minute and 14 seconds so there was a video that was out on the tubes years ago called the sounds of saturn which was essentially just an audio recording of a radio signal that bounces off saturn as recorded by radio telescopes it was weird um you know same ominous tone but different However, the time uh, of that recording was also a minute and 14 seconds. So that seems to be the connection here. Maybe that's a little bit of a reach. Again, maybe a little bit of a tinfoil hat on that. However, Saturn was already a place in the Destiny universe as that was where the Dreadnought was in D1. It was parked inside of Saturn's rings. And I was actually talking a little ways back, maybe a little less than a month ago, with another YouTuber, Ebontis. Go check out his channel. I'm going to link it down below. Great YouTuber. And we were talking about, um, you know, the return of uh, places that we'd been and possible ways to reuse content from D1, as we've seen some of that, uh, actually quite a bit of it at this point, brought back into D2. This was kind of a way that Bungie was able to sort of shortcut some expansions in new areas rather than having to build something entirely new. They were able to just bring stuff back. And as a avid Destiny player, and I'm sure most people would agree, that's not really a bad thing because there were some great places in Destiny 1. And I actually always thought that there were some places that went sort of underrated and unexplored and always 
kind of want me to, wanted me to personally just go back and look for new stuff. I always wanted more lore when it came to missions and things like that, especially on the Dreadnought, because that was an interesting place. It seemed like for something so big, we really didn't go through quite a, enough of it. I mean, there's tons of places like that we could spend hours talking about it. But the Dreadnought was a cool one, and it certainly had a great place in the uh, PvE element of um, the Destiny world, so or Destiny universe. So I would actually be interested if that came back, and I think it's looking rather likely at this point that the place that we will encounter the Pyramid Chips, possibly, and for me, it makes a lot more sense given who I think the powers at play here are, and I'll talk about this at some point. This is a big sort of lore uh, rant, and I'm not a lore guy, so I'll save that for another video. But based on what me and some other friends have sort of assumed, uh, 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 surmised, excuse me, assumed, that the reason you would encounter maybe the pyramid ships on Saturn, or uh, more specifically the Dreadnought, is well, makes a lot of sense. So that's something to uh, look forward to. Maybe we'll be going back to our old stomping grounds. Uh, I would personally love that. And now in other news, um, maybe given the title of this video, the thing you've been waiting the most for, but I want to always include as much information as I can in these videos. A easy, flawless glitch that you can do. So couple of things I want to go through here and I want to talk about again some other youtubers I talked about a couple uh, right now and uh, there's gonna be some shout outs here so just bear with me the first thing I want to talk about is um, my buddy Triton Army's uh, YouTube channel now you can keep up to date with him but every week this guy is doing uh, flawless carries and he makes it very easy he can get six people um, I believe it's six people to the light. No, excuse me. He can get four people to the lighthouse at a time. Uh, he's got his methods. It's very quick. A carry takes under a half hour. He does a stream on YouTube. Um, he has a great Discord channel where he helps people out. But you just go follow him on, on uh, YouTube. Go subscribe to his YouTube channel. I'll link it down below. Every weekend he's doing this. He does a great service for people who have been struggling to get to the lighthouse. I know a lot of people have. There's so many bots, so many hacks out there. It really isn't fair. So take advantage of whatever you can while you can. Uh, I don't condone cheating. But when it has no negative consequences, when it's a bunch of people doing what they need to do together and it's all settled, I have no problem with that. Cheating, botting, that just ruins people's days. This is not ruining anybody's day. This is simply help. Go to his channel, he'll show you what he's doing, watch a stream, get in a Discord um, channel with him and uh, in a lobby and, and go to town. But now once you get to the lighthouse, there's some interesting stuff going on there. Most notably, we see Shax, or excuse me, we see Saint-14, Shax, God, see Saint-14 <laughs> talking with what looks like some sort of hologram of Osiris. Interesting conversation, I'm sure. We don't get to really hear it. We just see it from afar, and as we run up, Osiris disappears, sadly. I'm sure many people, those of you who have been to the Lighthouse, or will be after you go check out Triton Army's channel, would want to, you know, maybe spend some time with Osiris. How often do we really get to see him? How often is he just sort of standing there uh, in cool form where you can kind of take a picture of him with Saint-14. It's kind of neat. Unfortunately, we're not able to do that. However, there is a fun little glitch, and I'm going to show you a clip now. This was provided and thankfully allowed me, uh, allowed it to be used by me from another YouTuber named uh, Kefko. I believe is his, how you pronounce his YouTube name, but I so apologize if I'm incorrect about that. But no matter, I'm going to link his channel down below as well. So a lot of links down there to check out. He has a broader version of how to do this, but this is just a little clip here now. So as you spawn in, 
to the lighthouse, you're going to want to make your way around the right side. Don't go directly to where you'll see Saint-14 and Osiris standing. They'll be up on top. Go down and to the right. And this is actually pretty easy um, because the jumping is so uh, laid out for you with all the cliffs based on the architecture in this area. This is a very cool place to explore. I remember exploring the lighthouse in D1 and there was like a weird uh, little underground campsite. Always fun. I always thought you'd find like Xur sitting there one day. There was a lot of uh, conspiracy theories about that. But anyway, you're going to jump up to this ledge. He's on a hunter here. I think he has full mobility and he's using a Mita, which is giving him a little bit more mobility. So you've essentially just ran around to the right to the other side of the map. You can go to the left too, but I think the left pathing is a little bit more difficult. But run around to the right all the way to the back of the map. Jump up on here. And once you're up on top, you will see that Osiris has remained. He's sitting there talking with Saint 14. This is because you've essentially uh, averted the checkpoint that makes him disappear. And you can have a lot of fun with this because you can take all the selfies you want with Saint 14 and Osiris. I think it's pretty cool. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the information in today's rant. And for today's secret hashtag, leave a, um, hmm, let's say hashtag season 11 or a hashtag trials of Osiris or a hashtag pyramid ships or a hashtag whatever you can think of related to anything we've talked about. Thank you all so much for watching. I am Wilhelm Scream, and as always, we will see you in the next video. Little.